moved there in 1998. I moved into this area. And I lived here prior to that on 106th Day Ave and 96th Street for another three years when I first moved into Edmonton. I raised my other four children in that area. And my oldest son made his uh, first mm -hmm. communion at Sacred Heart Church. Mm -hmm. And how have you seen the area change in the years that you've lived here? Well, when I first moved here, there was uh, a lot of working girls in the area that has cut back maybe in the last couple of years ago. There's not that many now, mm -hmm. but there's still the odd violence around. And, um, there's not as much gang people around as before. First, when I first moved here, there was not any really any gangs around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And in in general, what was it like for you raising a family in this area? I felt safe. The city police were always around. They're always doing their paperwork, or didn't matter. Nobody bothered us. Mm -hmm. Kept they kept. Uh, Children kept to themselves. There was a lot of children, though, because I had all my children, and then their my grandchildren, and then their friends. So there was always a houseful. Sometimes twenty one children. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It was a lot, lots that's happened. Uh, one of the boys was mistaken for one of the, another boy that had fought with somebody in the back of the sacred um, mustard seed. And they retaliated and uh, he was shot in the back. Yeah, but it, my windows got shot out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. It was one of your sons who got shot? It was one of the boys that grew up with us in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he was not the one they wanted. Mm -hmm. He was the wrong boy. Right. Did he survive the shooting? Oh, yes, yeah. he did. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. And he's strong and healthy. Mm -hmm. He doesn't live here anymore with us. He's moved on. This particular neighborhood, to a lot of people in other parts of the city, I mean, it does have a reputation as being a place with a, a lot of crime. A lot of crime, yeah. yeah. How would you respond to that if someone said, oh, I can't believe you live there. Why do you live there? You know, what would you yeah. say? Why do I say? Yeah. I say, I know everybody. Everybody knows us, so nobody bothers us really up until mm -hmm. that time. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel safe here. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I raised my children and the first four children here in the mm -hmm. 106 and 96 till I moved to the south side and I didn't like the south side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that why you came back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are some of your favorite parts of living in this area? Talking to the people, and I used to volunteer at the mustard seed with Pastor Evelyn and uh, the girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, I loved doing that until they transferred over to 105th and 114th, mm -hmm. and then there's no more volunteer work there like that now, so that kind of hurts because. It's a good place. It was a good place to do volunteer work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then going to church on the other Sunday. Mm -hmm. We'll be going to church every Sunday now because it's Lent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Right. And you're right near Sacred Heart Church, oh, too. Yeah. yeah. I love Sacred Heart. Yeah. It's, it's a good place. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. People are awesome. Yeah. And I have no problems living in this, in this area. Like every, every place else I go, it's. The same thing, you hear of people getting hurt, you know. Like I hang around the door there and I was working around there and there was a lot of violence around there. People getting hurt, mm -hmm. girls getting picked up, getting raped and mm -hmm. gangs around there. And uh, actually the cops here, have, they uh, have this place pretty well under control to beat cops. and. With the Boyle Street Health Center, the 
in the summer when it's warm out where a lot of people sleep all over. I kind of get them to clean up and move on their way. So mm -hmm. that has that's changed quite a bit through the years. Do you find there's more more of a police presence now than there used to be? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Kids that are around here is my house only that I've noticed with mm -hmm. all the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, coming and going and mm -hmm. their friends. And <laughs> There are some of them in, our, in high school, junior high, so they have a lot of friends that come over and visit. Right. Yeah, so it's yeah. always busy. Yeah. Quiet. It, when it gets too quiet, it gets too boring because I don't know where anybody is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Six. I only have two left. I have one daughter and one son left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I lost two in 14 months apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how many grandchildren are you raising right now? I'm down to, let me see now, hmm. I can't even remember. Jeanette, Kristen, Holly. Holly's the newest member. Her mother is the one that passed away. Mm -hmm. She's, uh, she just turned nine. Mm -hmm. There's Darnell, there's Kristen, there's Jeanette, there's Darnell. Yeah, that's why I said Holly. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's uh, Roy, that's not one of her brothers that live with me, but mm -hmm. he's uh, 20 some years old. Mm -hmm. He just lives here. Mm -hmm. So I've got about six, seven grandchildren that live with me. Do you like living here? Yeah. Yeah? What do you like about it? That I get to live with my grandmother mm -hmm. and my grandpa. Mm -hmm. Do you like going to Sacred Heart Church? Yeah. You like Father Jim? Yeah. People come up and eat and line up and all that the mustard seed, you know. It's, they always have little activities going on in the summer, like mm -hmm. they have barbecues. Mm -hmm. They have, uh, what do you call the a little circus or whatever, mm -hmm. not a circus, but all them animals, the pet zoo. The petting zoo, the petting yeah. Zoo. yeah. And they have a bouncy house. Yeah. And they let people go inside and have crafts and eat and do lots of other things. They have ice cream cones mm -hmm. and juice to drink too in the summertime. Yeah. And she got it. Tell them you like going to the mustard seed. Oh for yeah, I like going to the mustard seed for supper once of a day. So yeah, they usually have some activities sometimes. They even let people watch movies if they want to stay. People throw the garbage in around, you know. They're, you're not mm -hmm. going to stop that, you, you know. Just too many. Mm -hmm. And you'll still, but now more so if the cops see somebody with an open bottle out there, they, they confiscate it, they dump it right out now. So there's not so much of that, the people hanging around your area drinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like Father Jim said one time, on, I think in the paper, where you have to clean up and they go and have her poop in the near yard or in the back. Good grief. These restaurants around the area, they won't they let won't people. They won't let you in. You know, no. you have to be a customer in there, mm -hmm. you know, and if you're not, well, then you got to do it. So you see a lot of that out here, actually. People pee in any place they want to pee in front of your vehicle. They'll either in between your vehicle where they think they got a little shelter, they'll mm -hmm. pee in there. So there's a lot of, there's still a lot of that that does happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you could, if you had the power to change one thing in the neighborhood, what would you 
I put some of them bathrooms, outside bathrooms, up in certain places so mm -hmm. they'd have place to go. So mm -hmm. maybe that would help mm -hmm. the people, you know, instead of doing what they have to do. They might have some respect and then they might not have respect, mm -hmm. so I don't know. But that's what I, well, I always say that. Oh, I wish they had little bathrooms around here so they could go there and not have to go on people's lawns.